So this is Gothic Kingdom 52. Um, my last video I talked about a bit about bells and clock towers. You have a fascination with clock and bell towers and church bells and clock chimes and shit like that. When I was younger, I got to go on the inside of a clock tower. I thought that was pretty cool. You've all heard of Big Ben, right? At the Clock Tower of London. Well, they actually do videos on YouTube, or you can actually go on and see the inside of Big Ben. You can actually take a tour of Big Ben, which you have to have special permission. You can't be like handicapped or scared of heights, and then you have to have headphones on in case you're like when you're at the top of Big Ben in case the bells go off. I believe there are last time I checked 237 steps. No escalators, no elevators, so you climb all that all up a Big Ben. Let's take a video making sure Big Ben strikes on time. This guy talks about how it's done. One video I saw was they had like a little magnet magnet um pendulum with coins on it. They take one coin off it goes a little slower or a little faster. Or you put one on, it goes a little slower or a little faster, etc. etc. Let's check this video out and see how he does it. It's all about 3 minutes and 30 seconds. I got plenty of time for that. Keeping Big Ben striking on time. Yeah, I'm sort of one of the uh, clock makers at the Palace of Westminster. Not only do we come up here three times a week to wind it, three times a week we have to do a time check. But what we have to do, we have to speak, phone up and speak in the clock. Take an accurate reading on the stop watch. Really cool. This is the bell of the work. Technology evolves the bell of Big Ben running efficiently. He's calling someone. Now we have an accurate time reading. What we have to do now is compare it with the first strike of Big Ben. Now they're on the super top of Big Ben, like in the. The room they're making me the call in has Big Ben's old clock system. I think I might replace it I'd repair it during World War One or Two. I'm not sure, but. Why just a smidge? And at three or two seconds, you can see there's some some gears on the bottom, and there's some gears on the top. I don't know if that's the actual gear system or not, but anyway, let's see what he's got to say. Now he's comparing the first strike of Big Ben. First strike. Now he's going up the stairs with this other bloke. They have to have headphones on because when Big Ben strikes, he loses hearing. But they're going up the stairs, up the stairs, and here we go. They're on the top of Big Ben. And it's really cool because you can actually see the bells and shit that's going on for seconds here. What you're going to hear is about 20 seconds to the hour, the quarter bells will ring out the 16 notes, then it's a pause of about 7 seconds, and then the first blow of Big Ben is actually the time signal, so we check to see how accurate we are. We're allowed plus or minus 2 seconds. Good on. <laughs> that's my caution. And at 1 minute and 16 seconds, you see the start of the bells begin to ring. Ring away, big band, ring away. That's fucking loud. Even I'm at the fucking computer and the lava volume's up. Full blast. I can't imagine what it'd be like in the tower, even with headphones on. <laughs> it should be it should say three minutes, and we've got three minutes and 21 hundredths. Okay, now we've got the accurate time reading. What we do now is we enter it onto a, a log, which has been going for about the last hundred years. Um, we could. We have a log that's been running for the last hundred years to make sure Big Ben is chiming off on the right time. That's, that'd be an interesting job. But I imagine with all those steps you climb up to that one section and then to make put the headphones on, wait for the bell to ring and then go back down the steps and then make sure you get the log is on time. That'd be, actually be an interesting job. You shouldn't get a lot of exercise doing that. Put the barometric pressure on the log. We put the temperature of the clock room and make a record of how many corrections and how much is actually on the pendulum. Uh, then we sign it and put the date and the time on the log. Parametric pressure is 1016. What time we did the time check? 10 o'clock. We sign it. Temperature in the clock room is 64. We've got nine pennies on the record. We'll carry that over. On the chart itself, that we less than half a second slow. 
how the, the is the time adjusted if the clock is fast or slow? This is not something which predestined one penny piece, but so we use to adjust the time. We have a stack of coins on the pendulum shelf, and by placing one old penny on the pendulum, it just it speeds up the timekeeping by two fifths of a second in 24 hours. This is how we can get it so accurate. So if I place one on, 24 hours time will be two fifths of a second faster. Take one off, two fifths of a second slow. That's basically what I said. Check out this video, it's um called Making Sure Big Band Strikes on Time. So it's like I was saying is um yeah. Another video called Climbing to the Top of the Clock Tower Big Ben. Climbing to the top top of the clock tower. See them. There's Big Ben. There they go. Up the stairs. They're about to. Voice says clock tower. And it's sped up, of course. Up the stairs. Stairs. Now they're at the resting point. Very confused stuff like the clock years. Here ticking off. Up more stairs. Please do not run down these stairs on your shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Bell's chiming off. the inside of the bell. No. Dun. Shit. Oh, I don't got much time left. Next video will be, next video will be on bell towers. As the time of my videos is 8 and 50 seconds, 51, 52, so. I don't know if you can understand what he was saying in the video, but it's just a bit of a bit of how Big Ben works. So I first saw an article and it had, that said these two um, pranksters stuck in a big band in, in 1970-something. And they um, they fucked with the time and made it speed up really fast. And I first thought, I don't know how it's possible, learning how easy it is to just take a couple coins and then place it there or whatever. And then, yeah, it is easy. But I would recommend doing that because I imagine there'd be an offense to mess with Big Ben's time when you're, when you're not authorized to do that. <laughs> 